What's up guys? We are back with another video. So I'm going to be talking about transmission options today. Um, we're going to go over all the transmissions that I've known to work and what I've personally installed um, or customer of mine has installed. So we're going to start over here to the left. We're going to talk about the Corvette, not from Blanc because I don't recommend attempting these. So the 2008, uh, 2000, well, no, 1998 to 2013 Corvettes, so the C5 and the C6 Corvettes, I don't recommend trying to use any of their um, transmissions. It's not worth the headache to try to make that work. Um, so I'm not saying that you can't do it, but I don't recommend it at all. <clears throat> However, Going to the G8, this is the Pontiac G8 GT, so this has got the 6 liter. They did have two transmissions that you can use. These are both 3 bolt flange um, drive shaft ends so that you, they had the Gibos, I think is what they call, they're called. So you will have to use a CV style drive shaft for this which makes it much more expensive than the typical slip yoke. Uh, style drive shaft. So the drive shafts for these, all these where I put three bolt flange, these are all the three bolt flange drive shafts that I have found that I um, that I can confirm. So the 6L80 is a six speed automatic that you can make paddle shift, uh, you can make the paddle shifters work. I have them working in my car. I have the left upshift on the steering wheel working for downshift and the right upshift paddle for upshift which is how they are on the exotic cars so that's why I laid them out like that. Um, this is a very strong transmission it is very crucial that you get a good tuner that can tune these because from the guy Justin Covington that I've had tuned mine has said that it is literally in the tuner's hand to where this is going to break under stock power or if it's going to hold eight, 900 horsepower. So it's very important to find a very good tuner that's reputable that has made power with this transmission, but I, th I really do like this transmission. I think it is a very good option, but it is a good bit heavier than all the others, but I mean, it doesn't bother me at all. I, l I like the transmission more um, than any of the other transmissions I've used. But I do not recommend using the one from a car um, because all of these came from uh, cars. They are all the three bolt flange. So unless you're buying a motor and transmission co uh, combination, I would recommend getting trying to source one from a truck. If you see the 2007 to 2013 trucks, or they're I don't know which ones all, but some of them had the 6L80 and with theirs it was a slip yoke so rather than having to spend a thousand dollars on the drive shaft you can spend typical of under 400 or 450 for the drive shaft which is what I have in my car um, now going to the T56 so I mean, well no that's TR6060 so this is the manual transmission that they went to and they pretty much revised the T56 this is also an excellent option. However, they do not have any slip yoke style um, transmissions for the TR6060, so you will be required to get one of those more expensive drive shafts if you're going to use the TR6060. So the uh, G8 only came with the manual in the GXP, which was a special edition G8. Um, it was a 6.2, not a 6.0, but anyway, so. If you are going to get a TR6060, which I think is a great option, the shifter is also a problem where you do have to have, um, you have to modify the shifter and everything that holds into place, which I will be uploading a video. Um, we are doing a car for the guide and we're going to be showing video of how we've made our shifter work on the car that we're using. So you'll be able to see all of how that works and I will likely be making a product for the shifter to where 
you don't have to do nothing but bolt everything into place. So I don't know how soon that will be, but I, I don't suspect that it's going to take me all that long. You will be reusing your factory shifter. You'll just be cutting a lot of the stuff off of it to make it to where it'll bolt to my uh, brackets and stuff. Um, so now we're going to go to this Caprice. So this is the PPV car that the, the police interceptors. It's a pretty much a G8 with the uh, 6L80. They did not offer any manual transmissions in these cars. It's practically the same drivetrain from a G8. Um, and again, same three bolt flange, so you will have to get a thousand plus dollar drive shaft for that. Um, I've seen them range from in between a thousand or like 950 upwards to 1200, just depends on what how how much power and stuff you're trying to hold with it now we're going to go to the ctsv so the 04 to 07 had the 57 and the 60 base depending on what year you had so they only had the t56 manual transmission however it was an early model of the tr6060 and it is also a three bolt flange i do not believe that you can convert this to a slip yoke you might be able to, but I'm not 100% sure. However, it does have the same exact shifter design. I do not know if my transmission um, shifter that I'm making will work for this transmission yet. Um, I'll have to, whenever, whenever I find somebody that has one, um, I'll be able to find out. So now we're going to go over to the 2000, well, 98 to 2002 Camaro or Trans Am. So they had 4060s in some of them and then T56. Both of these had the slip yoke transmissions. So you're going to get your typical slip yoke uh, uh, drive shaft for that. Um, the T56 was a manual six speed and the 4L60 was a four speed automatic. Um, the T56 is definitely a good option. You don't have to do anything. The 4L60 is also a good option. It is not paddle shift compatible. So you will not be able to make the paddle shifts work or at least work how it should. Without a lot of complications, you're not gonna get it to work. Um, you would have to get a box that can actually shift the lever um, for the transmission rather than uh, doing it all controlled by a computer. <clears throat> now the LS2 from, or LS1 from the GTO, same transmissions for the most part. It's going in the Camaro. They both fit. Uh, all of these transmissions actually fit just fine. Um, my cross member isn't much different for any of these transmissions because you can move it kind of however you need. Um, there are some adapters that I that I send with the kit when you're using a 4L60 or you're using a TR6060. There's a little bit different pieces that get included. Um, and as I find newer, um, or not newer, as I find options to fit better or if or problems, I go ahead and address those immediately as I get notified of them. Um, another thing is we're going to talk about the 2000, this is the 5th gen Camaro. Um, again, same transmission options as here. So you're going to be pretty much all of the same is going to be talked about for this one. It's this, everything's the same. Um, now the trucks. So... You have the 4L60 that's a slip yoke, and you also have the 4L80. So as far as I know, one thing that's going to prevent you from being capable of running the 4L80 is I don't believe that you'll be able to use a, f a 24X computer. Um, I'll talk. I'll go back onto this in a minute, but I did want to talk about that specifically and a, a little later. Um, but again, so these... Uh, are the um, the Gen 4 LS series engines and it also had the 4L60 and the 6L80 so I believe that when you pull one of these transmission well the 4L60 from one of these trucks I don't believe that you can use the 24X computer on these fourth uh, fourth generation um, LS engine com uh, you can't use the 24X computers with the 4th gen um, 4L60s. 
that I'm aware of. Um, and then also some other options that you can make work are the CD09, the Turbo 400, and the TH350. So all of these will fit. And now I'm going to go about talking about a little bit about the um, 24 and 58x computers. Um, so I'm pretty certain, like I said, I'm pretty certain you cannot use a 24x um, computer for the Ford Lady, and I know for certain that you have to have a 58x computer for the 6L80. No matter which one it is, you have to have a fourth generation uh, computer for that. If you want to know more information about that, I did write this article that is right here that you can go ahead and purchase and I talk a whole lot about you know everything that you need to know about doing the swap before you buy it um, as much as I'm trying to get as much information as I can to you in these videos there is still a whole lot of information that you should know about this because I mean really there's endless information on these uh, engines and I have that for those who are trying to figure out you know what about my computer is it my computer compatible with this and I go through a lot of that in that video, uh, in that article so that is all for today and here are some other topics that I will be covering in later but until then I will see y'all next time